This is Science Never Stops with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. My name is David Weigel, and I'm here to show you how to explore the universe using Worldwide Telescope. This is part three, all about how to create videos. Jumping right in to part three of our tutorials on how to use Worldwide Telescope to explore the universe, we're going to talk about creating video content within Worldwide Telescope because perhaps you're stuck at home and are looking for a way to share what you've explored with your friends, or perhaps you're looking to use Worldwide Telescope as an educational tool for students, or perhaps you're using it as a student and need to develop some sort of report about it, or a completely different case. Maybe you want to create some content for virtual reality, which is fun. Um, either way, video making is what you need to do, and we're going to teach you. So in this, in this video, uh, we're going to be using the Windows version of Worldwide Telescope, though you can also use the web version of Worldwide Telescope, which can be found at worldwidetelescope.org. And we're going to be using solar system mode, which you can find in the bottom left corner of the screen if look at down here is pointing at solar system and not something else. But keep in mind that creating tours, videos, and Worldwide Telescope uh, do work in any mode. So right here, uh, we're going to go up to the top of the screen to where it says Guided Tours and click this little pull-down menu. If you click the big button, you get a variety of, of pre-made content. Uh, but if we click the little, uh, the bottom of this button, we get a pull-down menu and we'll click Create New Tour. We'll need to give it a name and so we can call it something very clever like uh, Science Never Stops. I can type. There we go. And you don't need to fill in the rest of it unless you so desire. So tours or videos in Worldwide Telescope are uh, slide based and fairly easy to understand. So when we create, click new, uh, when we add a new slide, we click there to add a new slide. Worldwide Telescope is going to take a snapshot of every setting that we have toggled right now and what we're looking at. So right here for 10 seconds, we're going to be looking at this view. If we click play, we'll get 10 seconds of looking at this picture, which is fine. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that so that we don't have to wait the 10 seconds. Um, we can zoom in, and if you remember back to previous demos, we can zoom by using the scroll button or, by, or the scroll wheel, or we can use two fingers on uh, a laptop or a tablet. And we're scrolling in, we're focused on Mars right now, and so I'm going to set it to right there, and I'm going to right click on the slide and click set and camera position. But before I do, uh, be sure that you don't click set start camera position if you mean to click set end. Also, don't click show start or show end if you mean to do this. These are very similar looking, so make sure you pay attention to what you're reading. So set end camera position. So now we have a beginning of the slide and end of the slide. If we double click this, we can get to the beginning. If we click play, we'll see that over 10 seconds, we zoom from far away into Mars. So with a beginning and an end, Worldwide Telescope then interpolates between those two things and provides this really cinematic sequence, which only took a few mouse clicks. So that's exciting. But perhaps we don't just want to zoom to Mars from the abyss uh, where we were, but rather want to start from the Earth. So let's delete this and head to the Earth and start over. So I'm going to double click down here on the Earth to get there very quickly. I'm going to bring us into view. Um, I already have clouds not toggled. We could have clouds on. If you look over here in the layer manager to the left, we could bring clouds on. I'm going to keep clouds off for now. We're going to zoom in to the US Space and Rocket Center. And I've already gone ahead and paused time, which you can do under the view tab up here. And if we pause time, then uh, that helps us because the Earth will not be rotating away under us as we're in this real-time simulation. So looking at the Space and Rocket Center with the Intuitive Planetarium right in here, we're going to set that as the beginning of our slide. We click that. And we're going to scroll back away, zoom out, until the Earth nicely feels, uh, fills our field of view. And then we're going to right click and we're going to set end camera position. Keep in mind that it doesn't matter how fast or slow you go between these different things because Worldwide Telescope isn't recording what you're doing. It's just you're, you are telling it 
uh, to go from point A to point B, and then it's figuring out how to do so in between. So now we have this 10 second video. If uh, 10 seconds, which is the default, is not a good amount of time for you, you can change it like so, or type in a number if you prefer. So we'll leave it at five seconds to make it a little bit quicker. And if we double click on this, it, it brings us to the beginning and click run. And we watch um, a quick, but pleasant zoom out from the Space and Rocket Center to looking at the Earth. So now let's head to Mars. I'll double click down here and get to Mars, um, except that if we simply create a new slide like this, you'll notice that because the end of our slide, our previous slide, and the beginning of the second slide don't agree, it's just a violent jump from one to the other. So what we need to do is actually delete that we need, and we do that by right-clicking and clicking delete. If we right-click on this screen and we say show end camera position, and then we click add new slide, the end of this slide and the beginning of this slide will match, and that's something that in most cases you want to be the case. So if those agree, then we can double-click on Mars down here, head to Mars, if we right click on this slide and set our end camera position, we can drop our time down. Oops. We can drop our time down here. There we go. To five seconds. Double click on here, and we should see this nice sequence. So we're zooming away from the Earth and very, very abruptly heading to Mars. It's not as abrupt as the previous one, it's not instant, but it's a very quick transition. And the reason for that is because Earth and Mars are very, very far away, and we are linearly traveling those millions of miles between Earth and Mars at the same time as we are trying to zoom away from Mars in this nice fashion. So um, for ease of explaining that, let me delete this slide one more time by right-clicking and clicking Delete here. Let me right-click here set or show, excuse me, show our end camera position. And then let's set this slide, this is the beginning of this slide by clicking on it. Let's zoom out until the Earth and the Earth's moon are just a little bit of a dot. Right click, set our end camera position. Keeping the exact same settings, we will add a new slide. We will journey to Mars, except we're going to zoom out till Mars is a little dot, and then change our angle just a little bit by left-clicking and dragging. We will right-click, set our end camera position, set the beginning camera position, the same as the previous slide's end, and then we will zoom in, zoom, 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 and set the end of this slide right in here. I will then change each slide down to five seconds. And then let's see what we get. So by double clicking on the first slide, we can click play. And if you don't touch the mouse, then all your borders will go away. And you'll notice a much, much smoother transition. So basically, we're extending the amount of time that the Earth or Mars are in our field of view, and we're shrinking the amount of time that we're traveling the millions of miles between worlds. And so you too can put together something that looks really pretty like this. You can get a lot closer and zoom through canyons on the Earth or in Mars, uh, travel to other planets, take a look at Saturn's rings, that sort of thing. And you can also add text if you so desire. Um, you can say things like, Wow! And bring that in and drop that on the screen for a slide and put it wherever you want and animate it if you so desire. You can add shapes or pictures or whatever you want. And then to share these things, you can either save them as a worldwide telescope file and then send that file to somebody. And they can play it on the website or in a Windows version. Or you can render out your video using only the Windows version by clicking on this little 
uh, tab right here, the pull down menu and clicking render to video. And let's see, this popped up on a different screen. So I'll bring this over here, clicking render to video. You will render out different slides. You'll want to click wait for all downloads and you can pick your resolution or create your own. I like to go for as much resolution as possible that my computer can handle, of course. And then you can use some sort of video editor to sequence all this and share it as a video file that you could put on Facebook or YouTube or something else. So um, this clearly is a very powerful tool. And there are other means to uh, further add uh, complexity, like adding different uh, layer settings over here by using something called the timeline. And you can get there by right clicking and creating a timeline and that gives you almost a, a movie editor like approach. Um, but we aren't going to cover that in this tutorial, maybe another if, uh, future tutorial if you so desire. So uh, with that said, thank you for joining me today and keep in mind that you can join me tonight, Friday at 7 p.m. for a Facebook Live where I'll be talking all about what's visible at this time of year in the night sky as viewed um, from Huntsville and we'll be using Worldwide Telescope just like this, so you can follow along on your own and I can give you further tips as to how you might go about uh, exploring the universe on your own. So remember, science never stops, not at the Space and Rocket Center, nor anywhere. Thanks so much.